I think you just have to kind of get into that mindset and like, you know, let yourself be really scared when you're making it. I don't know, lots of, lots of surprises, um, creepy things. Uh, I don't know, I, these guys are masters at it. <laughs> I leave it up to them. The doll is creepy. Come on, the doll is really creepy. Dolls are just kind of a little bit creepy in themselves, I think, you know? I, when I was a, a kid, I used to collect dolls for a while. And yeah, they all kind of have their own thing about them. There's something creepy about them. You know, we've got a lot of um, young kids in this movie, which I think is really fun and a different aspect to it, to have these young girls. Um, but uh, apart from that, I think, you know, lots of, lots of surprises and scary bits and, and uh, some familiar characters too. They do um, wind these movies really well into each other. So it's very satisfying in that way too. He's just a creepy guy who scares children. No, no, he's a, he's a, a, a doll maker. And uh, his daughter meets an unfortunate end, so he makes a replica. And uh, a little too lifelike. It's creepy. Depends on the light. Some light is like, uh, other lights is like, that thing's alive. Its eyes are following me. I was like implied violence as opposed to seeing a sword go through someone's head. And uh, this has a lot of implied violence that is uh, way scarier. And for me, the best part was going to work and just scaring these kids every day. I am so excited. I'm super excited. And I'm more excited because I just saw my girls there. I call them my girls, the actresses, the young, amazing actresses of the movie. They're so, so amazing, and I'm so happy for them to see that movie. You don't see it coming, and that's, I think that's what makes a scary movie scary. My character is the youngest of all the orphans, and because of this, she gets picked on by most of them, except one, Janice. And Linda and Janice become really close friends, and once they move to their new orphanage, bad things start happening to Janice, and uh, Linda does her best to try and stop those bad things. Well, I actually love scary films, and everything's scary, so just that experience made everything fun, and I loved working with everyone in the cast. Surprisingly, that's kind of a story of family, despite there not being a blood relationship, but family persevering through things that should not be happening. Oh, I think unex the unexpected, when something's not expected and then it hits you, and when they're playing to the audience's fears, things that you don't want to have happen to you, that's what helped me in a lot of the scenes. That's the goal. I mean, that's why it's so fun to make horror movies, because you, seeing it with an audience, you, you feel if it works or not right away. Annabelle just has such a rich history. You know, she's based on this real doll, and James did such a great job setting her up in, in The Conjuring that people just associate her with evil. It's amazing to, I mean, especially seeing the long line of people, it's, it's very exciting to, because I mean horror movies you want to see with a big audience. And I actually have never been to this theater, but I've seen pictures of it and it looks perfect for a horror movie. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to ha have this experience. To be very, very scared. Yeah, I mean I think this is yeah, way scarier than even the first one. Yeah.